from farmers being charged. Another bill has been presented in Parliament, the Horticulture Crop Authority Bill. To pastors and opposition leaders put on blast. Saile sisi tunaenda ku demonstrate hamukwa anywhere. Do you trust the leaders in power? Kashagu anataka munagawana nusu nusu. That is the only fight they are having. Say no to sympathy votes. Raundi hakuna kitu kama sympathy vote. Hakuna. We are coming for you. Hello, how are you? My fellow Gen Z's and Kenyans at large, welcome back to Show New Trend and I'm your host of the day. My name is Elvis Derry. I know many of you are wondering, like, where did this guy go? But in short words, this is how my week looked like. Back to business. Bills are being passed in parliament left to right. And some of those bills, to be honest, are very, very evil. And the question of the day is, why are they legislating on all our food crops? Listen to this. My Kenyan people, focus, focus, focus. Okay, focus. Stop the side shoes. We are up for an auction. Wake up, guys, and see what is going on. Another bill has been presented in Parliament, the Horticulture Crop Authority Bill, that requires even a farmer to be registered to be able to plant crops, to plant vegetables, skuma, terere, cabbage. You must be registered for you to be part of the... The, the the chain process the buying from the farm supplying to the market down to the consumer you need to be registered to do that in a county in a, in a county government guys they are coming for everything let me tell you the day gmos were legalized in this country a floodgate of bills were going to follow all these bills you're seeing that are happening, they're happening to take over food sovereignty and food security in this country. A billionaire like Bill Gates, he's using all his money, not for good, but for evil. Our farmers, not only in Kenya, but in Africa, they're under attack. Listen to this and just open your eyes and open your minds and just listen to what this man had to say about this. He got a hold of the, the regulatory agencies in African countries and forced them to take, um, to change the nature of agriculture. You know, there's, there's 20,000 generations of agriculture of, of people um, uh, growing uh, crops like sorghum and plantains and yucca and all these plants for subsistence. And he said, no, we're going to transfer them all to these, you know, GMO monocultures of corn. And then we're going to bring in um, the companies that he owns, Kraft, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, these big food companies, processing companies to buy that. And that's going to be the deal. And then, of course, during COVID, all of that shut down. And you had, you know, there's 30 million uh, Africans now as a direct result of Gates' policy who are now on the edge of starvation. And if we don't be vocal about these things, like things are getting worse day by day. Right now, like people are supposed to pay, like the farmers are supposed to pay. Gone are those days where you can just wake up in the morning, go to your farm, take some fruits, some vegetables, go and cook in your house or go and sell in the market. Just listen to how people are being extorted in this country. So have you had the latest? Uh, farmers will be needing 5,000 shillings to get certified to practice farming in Kenya for fruits and vegetables. Now, the 5,000 shillings is not even the big deal. The big deal is they'll need to pay another 2,500 for soil tests. They'll need to pay another 4,700 for water tests. They'll need to pay 60,000 Kenyan shillings for pest control board. They will also need to, for them to get this 5,000 bob uh, certification, they will also need to go through a two-year training where they will pay 15,000. Now, where do you come in if you buy from a farmer who is unlicensed, who has not gone through all those steps, you could get jailed. So, they want to criminalize 
the fruits and vegetables enterprise and that could affect about three to four million uh, farmers in Kenya who are growing their fruits and vegetables because it's not possible for them to pay all that especially when it comes to the two-year training where you're paying 15,000 60,000 to the pest control I mean that is too much and knowing how nepotism and tribalism in Kenya works when you apply for these 5,000 Kenya shillings to get the license what are the chances you'll be among the farmers will be amongst the farmers will get the license in the first place now we are going back to the days when colonialists were here when they would determine which africans were worthwhile to grow tea coffee any farming that was large scale that would bring income the white people had or the colonialists had put in a bureaucratic system that made sure that africans were not licensed or were not allowed and did not meet the criteria to grow the cash crops now we are doing that with our food. Not only our farmers are under threat, even the same same lands that they are using to plant our foods here in Kenya are also under threat. Listen to what Martha Karua had to say about our lands in Kenya. Cases of land grabbing are also on the rise, with both private and public land being targeted. The state appears to be under the control and capture of corruption cartels. That is why currently everybody in Kenya are very vocal about Ruto must go and Kachagua must go. Listen to what uh, our brother here had to say about these two individuals who are in power. Adani Airport, he can be taking 250 billion, he can maybe 200 billion, then he can pay Kachagua maybe 1 billion. Apana, Kachagua can take Kama Munauza Adani. Because both are equal, apo muna juve nye nasema, both are equal, bad guys. Kama muna uza Adani Airport, 250 billion, kashagu anataka muna gawana nusu nusu. That is the only fight they're having. Eh? The formula of sharing the root. That's the only problem they're having with kashagu. And even Ruto knows that even if he comes 2027 back, he will not have a comfortable time again with kashagu. Because kama watauza KICC, wauze maybe 38 billion. Kachagua anataka 19 billion, Naruto atukue 19 billion. Naruto does not want that. There's a guy in Jakaranda, akiongea, alisema, mufanye mistake kidogo hivi, kidogo hivi, murudishe Ruto 2027, mutakua. And that is the plan. Nini nawambia 2027 Ruto akipita, na anajua nitamu yake ya mwisho, atatuchincha sisi wote. <laughs> Kenyans, do you see where tribal votes and sympathy votes take this country to? It is taking us straight to the gutter and it's time to say no and let us vote with wisdom and understanding. So listen to this. Raundi, hakuna kitu kama sympathy vote. Hakuna. Muna kumbuka 2018 mkikuja hapa mkisema nyinyi munajua kuhaso ni kusema nini. Munajua venye mtu anangwaka na jua akiuza. Munajua venye mtu ananyeshe agwa. Munajua venye mtu anangaikaka akihaso. Tukafikiria tumechagua wetu mwenye anajua shida. Lakini si mulienda uko juu mkatu sahau sisi wenye tunahaso. Eh, muka tutupa na muka tutenga na muka tusahau kabisa. Raundi hakuna kitu kama sympathy vote. Endeni muka pigania uko, mulikuja pa muka sema mumetengwa tukwa waurumia venye mulikuwa munalia. Eh, sahi tena mumekuja tena mumepigana. Piganeni hata mkitaka kuwana muwane. Lakini hatu waurumi. Hata ukuja kama umejipaka mafi useme wewe ndi unaka, unakuwa mwaga siweji zote Kenya. Ama unaoshaka mutaro. Hatu kupei kura zetu bure. Hata ulie machozi ya inagani. Raundi hakuna sympathy vote. Munaenda uko jumu na tusahau. Ebu wana venye mtu nataseka. Ebu wana venye tunangangana na maisha. No, 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 no. Let us take a short break. We're going to be right back. Sifa ongla. Hand you, hand you, it's in wajemela i when you hide. Pang yo wo gao su ni na shi ho wo jen da hao shuai Ran ho wo chu wen ta mei niu ni jin tian za ma yang Ran ho ta gao su wo shuai ga wo ai ni za ma ban Wo ju xiao ran ho wo jia ta da wei xing Ta ge wo ta da shou ji sao miao ta da wei xing Wan xiang wo zai jia gen ta shou hua Again, ta liao ta ro me ni chi tan tan Ta shi mo ta yi wei mo ta wo ai mo ta Yi wei mo ta ta shi mo ta wo ai mo ta 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 Mugina 
Kenyata Wanauliza kama Kenya kubo sana Nikawajibu Kenya tuko na disaster Watoto wetu wanazidi kuzikana Natomba ameshika tamu Halituwacha kama angali kijani this man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a brusky Albis Deli. Our Kenyan farmers are being punished by this corrupt regime. Even though they strive every day from morning till evening on their farms, but yet their efforts and hard work are not being appreciated. Listen to what the village 254 had to say about how our farmers are being oppressed. Yeah, by the way, something is very wrong with our country. Can you imagine? They, are, they will charge farmers almost 10,000 to give them license to farm fruit and vegetables. They will charge farmers 60,000 to get license or permit for pest control. You're being punished to eradicate pests. Why are you punishing people providing food for this nation? What's happening, by the way, in our farming industry? Because from yesterday, we've been talking about this over, over legislation of farmers and farming and seeds and everything animals and so on and so forth what's happening i can tell you what is happening globalists and it's only globalists who want to control they've been controlling business for the longest now they have gone down to the farmers who has done all this president william ruto he has sold our country its soul and everything else to the globalists not only our farmers, our foods, and also our lands is being attacked. Even the affordable housing that Kenyans have been promised every day are also not in safe hands. Listen to this and just listen to what this woman had to say. Wapa ni nyumba ya affordable housing, opposite Kariako. Nimekuja kuchunguza, ni akina nani waliuziwa, kapra nyumba kukamirika. Nimepata report, hii nyumba imeusiwa. The majority people are able people, rich people, and the houses were made for middle class and lower. And now I'm here to record of what is happening. Wakenya wanatoswa, revis, sa housing. Awacha pata any unit, but kupitia uchunguzi wangu. Park road iliuswa, iliuswa matachiri. And this is the report I've gotten through my investigation. Serikali in Afai is Mamishe, while water was deeper, Pesa was Rudishiwe, Iri Mukenya Wakawai, the Yura Ripua, Ametos were Revis, a payway unit. That is my report. During the protest, so many people lost their lives and others even got damaged severely. And later on, you saw like some pastors and some bishops, they went to set house to meet the president. And those same same people, they never demanded justice for our people. Listen to what our brother had to say about some pastors who are not walking in God's light. Listen to this. Kenyan pastors, unavli menyamaza hivo, nyamaza munyamaza kabisa. Unavli mpote hivo, potea na mpote kabisa, ataki kuwaona, tena ataki kusikia anything from you people. Nyinyi ni mafala na nyinyi ni wajinga namba moja wamekuwa mnatumesi hiyo Kenya. Sasa ile sisi tunaenda ku demonstrate hamkuwa anywhere. Tukakuja tukapiga kelele tukapiga kelele tukapiga kelele hamkuwa anywhere. Then after that, nyinyi mkaenda set house mkapewa pesa, mkakula mkajifanya sisi ndio mnaongea na president, sisi mnaongea mnaongea on our behalf of which are took watuma, mkapewa mabaasha za brown, mkarudi kwa makanisa yenu, mnakula mapesa zenu huko, mnakula sadaka ya wenyewe, mnakula mabibi za watu. Saizi mmenyamaza when wa Kenya wanaumia you people are nowhere right now and then sile tutarudi ku demonstrate tena sile tutachukua sheria mkononi sisi wenyewe tuanze kutafuta hawa politicians ndo mtaanza kutokea mwanze kusema oh eh, don't pay evil with evil wewe saizi tumeamua tumefika place ni tunaenda ku pay evil with evil saizi mtu akituibia tunaenda kwake tunachukua chini alituibia na tunanyanganya yake yenye alikuwa nayo hapo ndo mali tunaenda saizi Saizi hakuna ile story tulikuwa tunaambiwa ati siju kipigwa coffee huku hivi atunapea na huku pia upigwe coffee huku haya hapana tumepita hiyo place saizi saizi ukinipiga ukinipiga coffee na kupiga ngumi ukinipiga ngumi na kupiga fimbo saizi ndo tumefikia hapo kama wa Kenya because hizi ma stories zenye mapasta tumekuwa mnatuambia mlikuwa mnatuambia stories za kijinga 
na watu walikuwa wanatumia hiyo kitu kutu control na kutaka advantage on us so mr president instead of inviting those pastors and bishops who they think they have wisdom but they don't have invite kenyans who are suffering kenyans who are facing the same problems every day invite them those are the people who will open your mind and show you what is really happening on the ground like our brother here had to had to say this had a message to send to the president listen to this mimi nataka kuambia Ruto kitu moja mimi naweza kuwa personal advisor wake sitaki pesa sitaki gari nataka tu unisikie nataka nikufunze kuna kitu inaitwa frequency frequency ni, ni, ni intentions thoughts na feelings ze uko nazo na whatever frequency unapatia raia hiyo bado ndio itakurudi itakurudia kila mtu anaona wewe ni ignorant kila mtu anaona uko na deaf ear ile frequency yenye wewe uko nayo ni frequency yenye uli introduce you na watu wako majuu invitation za majuu wewe ukienda hizo ofisi hauko unajua ni nini una introduce you kwa hayo unanipata so wewe unafaa kufanya hivi unafaa kurudi home kama ni sigoi enda kwanza hata ujaribu ile kitu unyojai ifanya wewe uto hivi watu wengine kwa maji ya nyumbani uoge na maji ya mtoni jaribu hata kama utakunywa changa kidogo ya huko ndi at least hiyo ifungue kitu fulani yenye umefungwa either way ile kitu tunakuambia ni ati tunataka urealign na ile frequency ya watu wenye uko connected nao connected with your family connected with your country na zile vitu zote zenye ulifanya maliza ulitumia jina ya god god akaona hapana huyu kijana wangu anafanya kitu poa sana kwa sababu anatumia jina yangu na anataka kwenda kusaidia watu wangu along the way alichanganyikiwa amesahau alikuwa anauza ga eh, kuku pale mailtisa kidogo akajenga kanyumba sigoi size ya costate house nini ime happen hapo katikati unanipata so ile kitu yenye tunajaribu kusema ni ati hakuna kitu yenye hakuna makosa yote jenzi wako nayo jenzi wana kuonyesha hao ni my last born wa god hao ni watu wenye wameleleo na kuku na net na hao ni watu wao wanataka kuonyesha in the next generation yenye na come Atutaki kusikia ati mimi ndazaliwa alafu unasikia ati mimi niko na deni ya kulipa na nalipa deni ya pesa yenye mimi mwenyewe sina. Okay. Unanige? Na nimeshukuru sana ndugu yangu. Yeah. So guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us on this show today and uh, may God bless you and may God bless our amazing country Kenya. See you guys on the next episode. Show new trend Elvis Derry. Bye bye. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.